Welcome to a Zero Calvin Quickie. Quick to film, quick to edit, and quick to watch. Today's Quickie is about replacing the PEI sheet on your Prusa i3 Mark III. So you've gone and torn up your PEI sheet while trying to get that failed multi-material print off the bed. Not to worry, here's what to do. First, remove the spring steel sheet and chuck it in the freezer for about an hour. Once it is good and cold, remove it from the freezer and remove the old PEI sheet. The cold temperature releases the glue from the PEI sheet, but the glue will still be on the steel sheet. Don't panic, here's what to do. Place the steel sheet in your wife's favorite baking pan and pour enough isopropyl alcohol into the pan to cover the sheet. Cover the pan with plastic wrap to prevent the alcohol from evaporating and set this aside for many hours, preferably overnight. Now that the stictivity of the glue has been diminished, place the sheet under very hot water. Once heated, the glue should start to slough off easily. Be careful not to burn yourself. If you have girly hands, feel free to use a paper towel or similar to rub off the glue. An over-the-limit credit card also works wonders for scraping off that last little bit of glue. Once done, give the sheet a good rinse and dry it off thoroughly. It is now time to install the new PEI sheet, so clean the steel sheet with some more isopropyl alcohol. Next, peel the backing off the PEI sheet. Okay, here comes the important part, so pay attention. Your job now is to line up the PEI with the steel sheet and slowly apply it from one side to the other. I find it easiest to use a slightly oversized PEI sheet so the alignment does not have to be perfect. Work slowly and carefully so as to not trap any air bubbles under the PEI. If this does happen, simply poke the bubbles with a needle or the tip of an X-Acto blade and squeeze the air out through the hole. Warning, do this on cardboard, not on the bare floor. Otherwise, you will later be scraping glue off the floor while cursing your damn fool self. If you used an oversized PEI sheet, trim the excess with an X-Acto knife. Finally, peel the protective covering off the PEI sheet and revel in its cathartic release. Make sure you trimmed inside of the alignment notches and then install your newly resurfaced print bed. Finally, thank me for this video by going to Amazon, typing in Brian Kramer, and buying one of my many books. Thank you, and see you next time on Zero Calvin.